Hi, good evening. Welcome to tdcat.com and tdcat tutorials in 4K DCI resolution. That's 4096 by 2160. And I'm not going to go all sort of 2014 on you and make a big deal about the fact that it's in 4K. I'm just doing this for the te for a test because I'm looking at the fact, I'm looking at the some of the facts around. Is it practical? Is it really practical to record a tutorial video in 4K? Now, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know how this is going to look on uh, something like an iPhone, which is probably what I would watch most of my tutorials on, not my own tutorials, obviously, but uh, other sort of uh, educational stuff, learning stuff, other YouTube videos. Most of the watching I do is on my phone. And that's an HD display on an iPhone 6. But it's uh, obviously very much smaller. And that's one of the main differences between 4K when you're when you're filming something like this screen here, where we've got this fish here and uh, the general sort of kitchen rubbish going on. And look, I zoom in on the fish here. If this was if this was a 4K frame, we would just have more detail in this fish. Why I've chosen fish, I don't know. But just ignore that. But um, if we're talking about a uh, a frame on a screen like this here, we're in Premiere here, and it's really nice, it's really handy to be able to to, to do a capture in, uh, in 4K, because I can sort of fit everything I want on the screen as I've got it on my screen in front of me. But the problem is, everything is smaller. So all my text is smaller, and even on a in an operating system such as uh, sort of macOS where scaling is very well implemented and you know size of fonts has increased size of icons has increased for high dpi displays i would like to think that it's not to the extent that that you have exactly the same amount of real estate on a 1080p display as you do on a 4k display if i had a 4k display i would want to be able to fit more things on it and that's the main problem the difference being of course that's like me zooming out on this image of the fish. So let me go back in the frame a bit here. It's like me sort of zooming out like this and expecting this to have as much detail in 4K. It wouldn't. It's just you get more detail within the same frame, just zoomed out. And that's kind of what we've done here on the screen. We've effectively kind of zoomed out on it and we're fitting more on it. So what you get on a normal HD display is just tiny text. So how is this going to look when I put it on YouTube? I don't know. Maybe I'll get to my phone. And because the iPhone is such a great display, or phones in general, you know, a lot of quad HD phones and, you know, they're really good displays. Maybe you can see the detail here and, and here. You know, if I'm talking about something down here and saying, right, okay, I'm going to do some stuff on film. Film convert. I'm going to change this setting. Unless I'm going to zoom, zoom in on this, can you actually read this? Can you read this list that comes up here clearly? Can you see these clips? If I zoom in, if I have these thumbnails here and I have the uh, the audio here, can you see that clearly? And can you see the changes I'm making? So if I say, I'm gonna move the faded film slider up and reduce, sort of make, make them slightly sort of milky blacks there. And I'm gonna reduce the vignette. Uh, so I'm gonna increase the vignette on that and make that, and increase the sharpen slider, just to sharpen up the footage a bit. Can you see all this clearly? Well, I could of course zoom, yes, but that's not always practical. It's nice to be able to look at the screen as a whole. So my, my question is today, is it practical to record tutorials in 4K? Uh, I'd really appreciate your feedback, but I'm actually doing this just to put this up on YouTube and have a look what it looks like. So any thoughts you've got, let me know and uh, I will catch you soon. Thanks for watching. And if you like what we do, please subscribe.